Yo guys, Rush TV here and welcome back to another episode of the Norwich City career mode on FIFA 19. Now, we have the webcam back up and sorted, guys. I have somewhat fixed my Elgato, so that's good news, guys. So yeah, we will be getting a lot more Norwich videos out in the time being because, I'm not gonna lie, I've been pretty slack with it lately, guys, so I promise to improve the upload rate with the, the Norwich career mode. Um, continuing on from last, uh, last episode, we did play two games in the league, was it? And we got two draws and we got one win as well. So we're sitting in 21st place, which definitely isn't the best. But we are going to be playing three more games again today. Getting through, um, I'm pretty sure the transfer window is going to end as well in this episode. Trying to get some wins and trying to push ourselves up the table a little bit. But let's start off the episode off with some player development. All right, here we go, lads. They've done well. They've done well. Dreschler's gone up to a 48. zagadu has got an A. pazlak has got an A. Two Bs and a D. Good way to start off the episode. Let's get into the game against Preston. I'm pretty sure we're probably just going to go straight into that, guys, and see how we go. All right, first game at home against Preston. They're going to have to use their home kit because otherwise it's going to be a major kit clash. So home kit versus home kit. I haven't really changed the team up much since last game because, I mean, it's been working well, guys. Look at all the arrows. They're all going up, so the players are in good form. Let's get into the game, and hopefully we can... Because I'm not going to lay our championship... We haven't done well so far in the championship, but we're starting to get results in again. Two two draws last episode, and we got that huge win of the Carabao Cup. So hopefully we can continue that performance and get a win. We were very unlucky not to get a win last episode, but let's get into the game nevertheless, guys. Hopefully get the three points. Kazlak has it. Teti. Godfrey did score a banger last episode, and he completely loses possession. Gets it back, though. In the Cantwell. Sees the run. Tetti with the strike goes out for a corner kick. Marshall's going to swing it in here, hopefully to the big head of Pookie. I wasn't aiming it there. I didn't want it to go there, but we have got another corner. All right, near post. I see Zagado there, six foot five. You know he's capable of winning a header. Doesn't go to him, though. Goes to Reese Oxford, edge of area. Going to hold the ball. Cantwell, fake shot. Cross it in. Good delivery. Head up. Oh, what a save by the keeper. We're pressing that goal here, boys. Holding it nicely here is um, Preston. Zagado gets an interception, but that shot was just custard. <laughs> Teti up the pads like he's already gassed. We might have to sub him off soon. He's been running all game. Redmond. In the middle... Back stick, oh, almost, almost. We do have a corner. Marshall is going to take it. Swings it in, Zagado, and it's completely off target from a tight angle as well. Preston have got the ball. Reese. Oh, no, we've just gifted them possession, just said, here's the ball, bloody take it. And they're crossing it in. Zagado's done well, but the header isn't quite good enough. Preston still have the ball. They shoot. Get it out. Good save, Mendoza. Very good save right there. They're really starting to put the, the foot on the accelerator now, Preston. And they could have another cross here. Well punched. Let's get it out here, boys. Let's get it out. Get it out of danger. For fuck's sake, get it out, boys. Fuck. Nope. And they've scored. Preston a 1-0 up. I mean, the last five minutes, guys, they were just at my goal, at my goal, at my goal, like a pit bull. And, I mean, the goal, it has come. We're 1-0 down. We've struggled in the championship so far, you guys. And I'm not, I'm not enjoying it. I'm not going to lie. But we have had a decent amount of chances so far. The goal has to come. It's just a lapse of concentration. And um, Preston have gone and scored. Halftime whistle blows. 1-0 down. Not looking the best here, though, guys. But still another half of football to play. Something I have noticed, and they have a strike, it's been deflected, and it's gone in, and it's just fucking atrocious there. Oh my days, come on man. Four nil, and it takes them a good two seconds to actually think, and then they just go up and score another goal, and I'm pretty sure Maguire has just got five goals. Literally five Bruh. shots, five goals. 
What more can you ask for as a striker? That guy is going home and he's having a good bloody night. Far out, lads. This is just... Let, let's just forget about that game, guys. I know I'm capable of beating ultimate difficulty. It's just, at the moment, we're really struggling in the championship, which is hard. It's, it's really frustrating, guys. I apologize for my atrocious gameplay, but let's just move on here, guys, and hopefully next game we can actually get a result. Honestly, I feel like my players are going to die. Like, seriously, I finish a game, and then two days later, all right, you're playing bloody lead. So this is going to be good fun here, lads. Norwich is sitting in second last. Wigan Athletic at the bottom of the table with zero points. And if we have a look, Leeds are probably towards the top of the table because they are a strong side. We are playing Leeds, who are in eighth position. So, I don't know here, lads. We're going to have to get into the next game, and I'm not the most confident. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's the rival game here, guys. I didn't actually realise, but um, you can tell because the, the players are looking at each other. So, we're playing our rivals' leads. This is the lineup here, guys. We've practically switched around the whole team, mainly because of stamina reasons. Let's get into the game here, guys. Big rival game at home. Let's get the win. This is a very important game. We need to please the fans. I just realised, guys, that I'm wearing a West Ham shirt whilst I'm filming the Norwich career mode, so probably not the best of things to do. So I might have to purchase a Norwich shirt down the line. We'll have to see, guys, so I can actually wear a shirt for the career mode videos. We'll have to see you, lads. Oh, well done, Aaron's. In the light now. Good ball. He's open in the middle. Pookie! Get it out. What the fuck was that? Come on! Oh, what a save, Tim Krul. Oh my days. What reflexes was that? Come on, let's get it out. Fuck's sake, there's no one to pass to. Let's go, get it out. Oh. Holy shit, what a save. Oh, what a save again. Tim Krul, man, is on fire so far. Center it. Pookie. Lewis is open out wide. Got space to run into. Back to tribal. Pookie. Gonna finesse shot. Edge of area. Still got the ball, lads. Why not? Why not? Off the crossbar. Oh my god, that was a powerful shot. Buendia. Oh, gone straight to his player. Far out. Oh my god, that was a bad tackle. That should be a yellow card. I hope it isn't. It is. Tom Tribal's got a yellow card right before half time. Alright, half time, the rivalry game. The score is nil all. Leeds have had chances. We have had chances. I, I guess you could say the game's been in the balance. Tim Krul has been on fire. I will give him that. He has made a couple of clutch saves. I don't know, guys. I'm not feeling the most confident, but. Anything can happen in ultimate difficulty. You have to see. Let's get into the second half. Pookie. Let's go, Cantwell. Okay, that's a free kick. Free kick in a dangerous area here. Who's going to take it? Uh, who's got the best free kicks? Cantwell's okay. Redmond's decent. I think we'll stick with um with Lightner though. Yeah, we'll stick with Lightner. Come on, boys. Let's go. Lightner over the wall. Good save by Peacock Farrell. Oh no. Straight through me like a hot curry. And they've still got the ball. I don't know how. And they have the strike and the bloody scored. Shambles again here, boys. I don't even know what's going on to be honest. They've got the goal leads. I'm so frustrated, to be honest. I really feel like, oh. It's just every goal that we see in the concede just seems to be one mistake at the back, which isn't even really a mistake, to be honest. Like, I tackle the ball, and then I didn't even click pass there. It gives the ball right the leads, and then bang, they score. Ah, it's so frustrating here. Pat Bamford with the strike. It's time to make some substitutions, boys. All right, triple substitution. Marshall's come on for Cantwell. Morris has come on for Redmond. And Tetty's come on for Leitner. So hopefully these subs can actually make an impact. Come on, Teddy. Let's go, bro. Let's go, Teddy. Let's go, bro. Oh, straight to the keeper. Good run, Lewis. In the middle, Pookie's Ooh, there. What Teddy. was this? You can't finish, can you? Come on, boys. 
Big chance, big chance. Marshall has the ball. Crosses it in the middle. Completely misses the volley. Don't worry, we've still got it. Another chance. In the middle. There we go. Finally, we've got the goal. Please don't tell me it's offside. No, it's a legitimate goal. Oh, my God. That's not... I'm not even happy with that. That, that is just relief here, boys. I've re we're really struggling in the league so far. And that goal is so vital. Who was it? Um, Vuendia or something like that. I believe it was. Stays on side. Gets the header. Good goal. Who was it? Uh, it was... Emiliano Buendia with his first goal in the championship. No, don't do this to me, Leeds. Please, what a save. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on. One chance. One final chance here, boys. Morris is through on goal. Come on here, boys. Let's go. Can he score? Can he finish? He can! In the rival game, we score in the final shot of the game to win. Morris has got it. Oh my days here, boys. Who would have thought what a fairy tale story this game would be? Oh my days. Morris stays composed. I'm surprised the keeper didn't say that. But I don't give a flying frisbee, boys. Oh my days. We've got the goal. And we've got the three points, most importantly. Full-time whistle blows. What a relief that is here, lads. First three points in the championship. It's only took us, what, four games? But who cares? Look at the Leeds players. Absolutely devastated. That's what I thought. Suck your mum, mate. Suck your mum! We've been given the all-clear that Ono Hernandez has returned from his injury, finally. I'm pretty sure he got injured in preseason. And he's a good player. He'll probably be starting a left mid for us as well. So he can now join the first team. So that's good news. Another training session, Reese Oxford has gone up to 69 rated. <laughs> good overall performance by the boys, good to see. Let's get into the final game of the episode. The final game of the episode, guys, will be in the second round of the Carabao Cup, away against Coventry City. Hernandez is back in the starting 11, hopefully we continue on our run. Honestly, as I said last episode, guys, I really don't care about the Carabao Cup, but I mean, it's good practice. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get the win here, guys. Cantwell. Morris with the strike. Oh, I thought that went in. It didn't though. Morris. Good strength. Good strength by the lad. Hits it. Oh my days, it's gone in. It's gone in. That must have hit something because that strike didn't feel the best. But Morris is on fire lately, guys. Got the, the crucial last minute winner last last game. And and now he's he's got another goal. I've I've gifted him um the position to actually start the striker this this game and have a look at this. Did it hit something? I don't even know. He just kind of just hit it. He just hit it. Toe poke over the head. And it's a goal. Godfrey. Tetty. In the middle, boys. Morris. Oh, good stuff. Teddy. Godfrey. Cantwell. Hit one. Ooh, that was close. Oh no, please tell me that's offside. It's not offside, oh my days. They've got one back Coventry in the 45th minute. Of course, of course. Half time, one all. Morris, let's go boys, Godfrey. Hold on. Morris, hit one, finesse shot. Easy for the keeper. All right, triple sub, Tetty's coming on. Aaron's is, no, Teddy's coming off. Aaron's is going on. I can't remember it all off by Hardy, guys. I'm going to have to get the game to tell me. What's it saying? Marshall on for Cantwell. Um, Lightner on for Teddy. And I believe I brought Aaron's on as well for Lewis. That's right, boys. So triple substitution. Hopefully they can make an impact. Redmond. Good skill there. Sees the run. Marshall with the strike over the bar. Coventry building it up nicely here. They're playing all right, to be honest. Oh, my God, with the bicycle kick. Far out. He was offside. <laughs> that just scared me. He just turned around and just went for the bicycle. It's offside, though, you guys. Doesn't matter at all. Get it forward. Nathan Redmond. 
Lightner in the middle. Can we get a 90th minute winner again? Hernandez with the strike. Is it going to go out for a quarter? Redmond's kept it in to Aaron's with another delivery. Godfrey with a strike. Volley. Oh, no. It's... Is that full time or is it going to go to extra time, guys? Is it going to be a replay or not? I don't quite know how it works. No, it's going to go to extra time here, guys. Straight to penalties. I never knew it went straight to penalties. Okay, then, boys. Penalties in the Carabao Cup. Let's get into it. Penalties against the AI is hands down the hardest thing, in my opinion. Good save, Tim Krull. Very good save. Okay, we started off well. Come on. Marshall. I'm going to go right. Can he score? See what I mean? Oh, my days. You just can't score. They predict every time. Like, that, that still hit the post. But, all right, they're going to go down the middle. I have a feeling. No, they've gone right. I guarantee you I won't score a penalty here, boys. I'm almost certain because the AI saves absolutely everything. There you go. They've just saved another fucking penalty. Okay, come on. He's going to go left. He's going to go left. Good save. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we're going to go left. Watch him save. Watch him save this. See what I mean when I say, like, penalties is actually rigged against the AI. They need to fix it, because every way you go, they save it. Alright, he's going that way. That's where his head was going. Okay, come on. Nathan Redmond, please. We're going to go left. Finally, we score a penalty. Okay. Back of the even now, boys. Come on. <sighs> Come on, lads. The suspense with the run-up. All right, he's going to go that way. How? His head movement. Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to go right because right is always right. And in this case, it's not. We're out of the Carabao Cup here, boys. I really didn't want the game to go to penalties because it just, as I said before, it's just insane how overpowered the goalkeepers are in the AI when, when you play penalties. They just seem to predict every single way you go. So what can you do there, boys? It's the Carabao Cup. I really don't care, to be honest. It would have been nice to go through to the next round, but it's not really going to affect us too much. We're mainly focusing on um, how we go in the league, but we completely... Don't, I just spat everywhere. That's disgusting. I we completely obliterated Co Coventry, but I don't really care, to be honest. I really don't. All right, so now if we look at the league table, we are sitting in 19th. So five games played, five points, and we are playing Ipswich, who are in 21st. So that's going to be an interesting game to start off next episode here, guys. But we are going to finish off um, with the transfer deadline day, and I believe we get our monthly scouting report as well. I just look. Malinkovic Savage has signed for Liverpool for 104 million. That is an insane price. Fire out. All right, let's get through transfer deadline day. I don't think we we're going to get any offers here, lads, but we'll see how we go. We have been given one offer with one hour left for Godfrey. No. <laughs> there it is. Transfer deadline day is over. A total of, if we have a look, 998 million dollars spent that is an absolutely insane and then why are we getting an offer when the when transfer deadline day is over i don't understand anyway we're gonna reject it because tessie is one of our star plays he's starting to age but there's no way we're giving him up so let's have a look at the monthly scouting report here guys to finish off the episode island has given us back brian Staunton. looks like a decent player we will send him to the youth academy our Italian scout has brought us back Dave Davide Fontana. Got a decent value as well, so he might be promoted sometime soon. And Dreschler, our Austrian scout, has brought us back. Oh, who's this? Tobias Stadler. Another goalkeeper. He's six foot six tall, and he's already got a value of $425,000. Don't get me wrong, I'm gassed over that, but. We already have a, a really good youth goalkeeper with Mendoza, so it's going to be interesting how that sorts itself out. Jamal Lewis and T Timu Puki are on um, international duty. And we, if we go have a look at our plays in the academy, Philip O'Connor, I'm going to go release him. He hasn't got the best of potentials now. The rest of the lads I will keep in the academy. Tobias Stadler is already 60 rated at 15 years of age. That's insane, guys. But anyway, we're going to end off the episode here, guys. 
Thank God I've got my face cam back up and working, you guys. I hope um, you enjoyed the episode. We will continue on. It, um, <laughs> so that's going to end today's episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. We'll be continuing on next episode against Ipswich Town. Now, I'm glad I've got my, my face cam back up and running everything sorted, guys. So I probably will be uploading this career mode a lot more. I apologize. It's only been like about one episode per week. But I'm going to try to turn that into at least two episodes per week. So, again, hope you all enjoyed the video. Please give a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that stuff if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.